The United States, Britain and Australia have recently announced a new security pact. Under the AUKUS Pact, the first initiative is to deliver nuclear-powered submarines to Australia. An expert in Thailand says the military pact poses a risk of nuclear proliferation, and threatens peace, stability and security in the Asia-Pacific region. I'm quite sure that uh, uh, AUKUS poses a risk of uh, proliferation of nuclear material and technology. Uh, it uh, will let Australia to build a nuclear power submarine now, for the first time. Having had a technology provided by the U.S., it should be further uh, to, to work on the uh, weapon technology that uh, might be more and uh, more uh, impact uh, to the peace, stability, and security in the Asia-Pacific region. Sarasit said the new security pact manifests the U.S. double standards on the issue of nuclear exports. Uh, we can say that the AUKUS allies uh, is probably the most significant security arrangement uh, between the three nations uh, since uh, the World War II, as I said. And the PAC will focus on military capability. The, the U.S. is sharing uh, the submarine uh, technology for the first time in 50 years. Uh, we know that because it had uh, only uh, share technology with the U.K. So this time, the double standard might be more uh, challenged to the region. Uh, because of, as you said, 90% uh, enriched uranium is already the, the weapon grade nuclear. It's, it's not the uh, nuclear uh, for peaceful uh, development. Sarasit noted that nuclear-powered submarines are the last thing the Asia-Pacific region needs. Um, the most needed in Asia-Pacific for myself is the marine research and development on humanitarian assistance and disaster relief, um, counter-terrorism or trans uh, transnational crime, uh, joint on green development in the sea to more effectively safeguard and the regional peace and stability and the development countries should uphold promoting and seeking security cooperation uh, on new security concepts that emphasize joint and comprehensive measure of cooperation in ensuring sustainable security and uh, to create a security governance framework uh, with the regional uh, characteristic for sure.